There are a couple different reasons why I study the New Testament, and the first reason is because I've always found the New Testament to be the most beautiful and challenging and complex and intriguing set of documents. I'm confident that I could spend the rest of my life mining the New Testament for its riches and still discover new things. Um, I sometimes think that the New Testament is where I personally see God's heart, if you will. I think about the words that Simon Peter spoke to Jesus when Jesus asks the disciples if they want to go away, if they want to stop following him. And Peter says, Lord, to whom else can we go? You have the words of eternal life. And that's the way I think about the New Testament. These are the words of eternal life. Where else can I go? Another reason comes from my former life as a minister, uh, before I became a vocational student and teacher of the New Testament. I was a pastor for four years, and when I was a pastor, I preached regularly, and I taught the Bible to middle school students and high school students, and this made me constantly aware of what is sometimes called the theological interpretation of Scripture. Uh, that is, uh, reading the Bible within a particular faith community and for that community's flourishing. The point was always to ask, um, what does this passage, what does this text say to us about how we live, how we worship, how we witness? And so um, it always kind of kept those questions at the forefront of the study of the New Testament for me. Now I find myself, much to my delight, teaching theology, not just teaching New Testament or the Bible, but teaching theology. And this has stretched me in very rewarding ways uh, to think about how to put the Old Testament and the New Testament in conversation with the breadth of the Christian tradition. And for that reason, I continue to find the study of the New Testament a really rewarding pursuit.